the only way to be truly sustainable or to reach anything in sustainability is to collaborate. We have to do this together. As the building industry represents 40% of global CO2 emissions, and as natural resources have reached a critical point, two companies, Start Somewhere and Sean Thaler, decided to collaborate to establish a sustainable building system for disadvantaged regions, as well as combating our biggest problem as a human society, the climate change. I, I grew up in, in the conventional uh, building industry, maybe it's cement, polystyrol and, and everything. I was never thinking about good or not good. Then after uh, a long time in the hospital where I was insured, I discovered the, this uh, facts that the most building material are very bad for our planet. And then I thought it, it is not, not uh, responsible to, to, to work with this. Our, our next generations, they will be thinking back and they will say, okay, this is not okay what you did. And so I decided to change. Then I discovered that with hemp, it's possible to make a really genius building material. Industrial hemp has many benefits. The whole plant can be used for different purposes, food, textile, and even eco-building. Hemp seeds have a high nutritional value. It is now known as a superfood. It's rich in protein, fibers, vitamins, and a valuable source of all essential amino acids. And it's actually very good. The reason why we wanted to drift away from purely technical synthetic materials like nylon and polyester, the fact that these resources are extracted from the land, not to count refineries, oil spills, processing and all of the other extras that the industry comes around. Hemp grows on land, there is a community around it that takes care of it and benefits from it, from it being around it because it captures CO2 and because it helps the soil to regenerate, to have new crops. There are crops that can grow in the shade. And now we've had the chance to bring the plant to our headquarters and to see how it behaves, to see it grow and then look for partners, local partners to process it. that it was comfortable, it was nice, it has real functional properties, it's breathable, it uh, can absorb moisture and release quite quickly, that means that if you wear it, your skin can breathe, it's antibacterial, that means that it, even if you use it for tracking for longer days, you don't smell. In fact, on hand we are using garbage, from the last garbage we are making high quality products and it's really upcycling, instead of uh, Sand we're using the hemp and instead of, of cement, lime. The, the benefits are that we can build houses without insulation. That we have a perfect insulated house, what is insulating in winter and in summer. After that you can separate it easy and you can rebuild houses. It is a lifelong getting better and better, so this house will stay 1000 years or 500 years. If you look of, of the health benefit, that you, is, you can sleep better, that you have perfect uh, air quality inside. Because we, we are using uh, lime as, as, as binder, it is not burning. There is also not coming out, if it's burning with the gas flame, it's coming out no, no gas and, and, and no smoke. Oliver van Moms started a project in Africa to provide affordable housing with a brand new technique, the twist blocks. It was made so far out of concrete materials. The common mission of Oliver from Start Somewhere and Werner from Chanteller is not to use hand bricks to reduce carbon footprint, waste and save resources. If we manage to open about uh, 25 workshops around the world, so let's say in eight countries by 2030, that have a capacity of producing around 900 blocks in a day. We calculated that around 100,000 people would benefit from this directly through about 170 impact projects that we could have built, like schools, hospitals, community centers, through about 5,000 jobs 
that we've created on the construction sites and inside those uh, production workshops. And ideally, if we don't do all of this only uh, with uh, concrete blocks, then we would have tons of CO2 saved in those projects. We need somebody to, to finance that. We need to employ some people uh, who can um, make a couple of thousand of those blocks. This idea has won the German Innovation Award in 2022. This idea of the material has won the German Sustainability Award in 2022. I think merging the two ideas could be a very good idea and uh, resulting into something even better than just the sum of the two. <laughs> so we can do this together. We just need some financing to do the very first pilot project to build up a house uh, that can be touched by the people in South Africa. So we have a project where we start somewhere. Thanks.